Jay Monahan is the commissioner of the PGA Tour and, and uh, is good enough to join us. Jay, thank you for doing this. And, and you were just here. You were probably the best illustration I have of just how fluid this situation is. Because you were here in the studio yeah. on Monday, and we had a long conversation. That, that feels like a long time ago. It does. It feels like a long yeah. time ago, but it really was not uh, about what you were hoping would happen and the way we have seen things. So if you could take yeah. us through the ways your decision-making process worked as the circumstances changed. Yeah, you know, you're exactly right, Mike. And I was thinking about that this morning to kick off the week with you uh, in New York City with the exciting news about our partnership through 2030 and to be looking at the Players Championship in the week ahead. And obviously at that time, you know, the coronavirus is something that was on all of our minds and we were thinking about how it was going to affect our business. And as I had said, we had stood up a business that was focused on uh, on really understanding all the elements of, of the virus and how it affects our tournaments. And so as as things progressed into the week, certainly I think the world changed starting on Wednesday night and we were comfortable playing and playing here on Thursday. Um, given all the, the, the circumstances, we had met early yesterday, had determined a plan that was going to allow us to operate our tournaments Friday through Sunday with very few fans out here and in the weeks that followed. But as you get through the day, as players come off the golf course, as they're trying to think about what that means to them and their families, and candidly, as we saw the closure of theme parks, you know, right between Jacksonville, where we are this week, and, and Tampa next week, uh, that and a number of other factors just led us to say, you know what, as, as, as much as we feel like we have created a healthy, safe uh, environment out here for the next three days, uh, it was time for us to, you know, to, to move away, step away, and to step away from the Valero Texas Open. And it was, it was a really hard decision. I'm sure. It's an interesting uh, thought, though. And, and, Jay, you're the first commissioner I've had a chance to talk to since this began. So a person who's actually making these decisions, where, as, as best as you can tell us, where are you getting the information from? Who is it that is, is advising you on these things? Where does the information yeah, come yeah. from that you use and trust to make your decisions? Well, so in this case, you know, given that we're here in real time, this is our Super Bowl, you know, you, you, you have to start locally. you got to understand where your community, the surrounding community is relative to the coronavirus and we rely have relied on and will continue to rely on local public health officials but then working very closely with governor desantis uh, working with you know the cdc the world health organization through our medical director tom hospital ho hospital who oversees uh, our team from a medical standpoint and ultimately had an opportunity to speak to the president about you know where we where we are where that where this is going and try and get as much input as you can and you know we're the PGA Tour there are other major golf organizations there are other golf organizations across sport all of whom are dealing with this in real time so you try and take in as much information as you can to make the right decisions and while we were supported and continuing to play as I said to you last night it just it was clear to us that it was time to step away and to Fair let change. this situation continue to develop, put ourselves in a position to have time and make decisions that are, you know, out into the future five weeks out. 